thought spirituality isn't for you because you don't really feel like you live up to this ideal portrayed on social media by the spiritual community. Let's talk about that. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Carolina Jimena and I founded Authentic Souls Club to change the way you look at spirituality. Today I want to talk about the fact that spirituality is for everyone. This is something that's been bothering me for a while now and something that I've kind of struggled with for a while now to be completely honest with you. When I first started I knew I wanted to work with millennials. At the time, I didn't know why. Now I do because millennials are the generation that have the Pluto placement in astrology in Scorpio. Pluto is the planet of like death and rebirth and transformation, like deep transformation. And Scorpio is all about like the taboo and the mystery and, you know, sexuality and this kind of like ta like tabooness, you know, interested in the occult. I know now that that's why I want to work with millennials because millennials have this affinity for spirituality and and looking to spirituality for deep transformation in their life in order to feel that deep connection, that community you know, feeling connected to something bigger than ourselves. But society kind of makes us feel like we have to hide that. We have to hide our interest in it. We have to hide our curiosity in it. Or on the other hand, the people who are really open about their spirituality, it's just like guns a-blazing. Like you have to do this. And like, there's just so much shame and stigma and gatekeeping in the spirituality. And it's just kind of like, well, I'm not either of these. So like, where do I begin? Or like, where do I fit in? <laughs> Fuck. Now that I'm reflecting on this, I'm just like, oh, it's so annoying how easily conditioned we are. And especially when we aren't deeply connected to our souls and our energy and our, and our definition of connection and spirituality and all of the things. So the first couple of clients that I got, they came to me and they said that they really liked my approach in making spirituality easy. And like, you know, they had never meditated before. They didn't think that they could meditate. And then they started working with me and they're like, oh, now I'm really connected to this practice. So I was connecting to these people who had really traditional corporate backgrounds, but were like interested in finding a way to kind of incorporate spirituality into their lives. And somewhere along the way, that got lost. Somewhere along the way, I started trying to just speak to spiritual people. People who already knew what spirituality was. But then again, in my DMs, so many people are like, you got me interested in human design, like the way that you talk about it. And I, I noticed such a difference working with the moon now and paying attention to its elements and all of these things. And I'm just like, why do I keep trying to talk to the spiritual people that don't make me feel included, that don't make me feel enough, that don't make me feel worthy. Because I take such a different approach to spirituality. Because I make it really simple. Because I make it really easy. Because I come at it from a pretty like scientific, logical perspective. But again, like I know the terminology because I am an incredibly spiritual person. But I have to figure out a way to take that terminology and bring it back to basics. Talk to the people who don't know astrology, who don't know human design, who don't know the zodiac 
signs and the elements associated with them and the energies around the elements and the energies around the signs and all of these things. So I really want to get back to that because like I said at the beginning, spirituality is for everyone. You don't have to wear like these really flowy clothing and crop tops and genie pants and you know kimonos and it's not necessary and you don't need to know all of the healing curse I don't know all of them you don't need to know every essential oil you don't need to know I don't even know everything about my human design chart or my astrology chart I don't know that because I don't fucking need to. I need to know what I need to know in order to make a difference in my life, in order to feel connected and fulfilled and like I'm making a difference both in my life and the world. That doesn't mean I have to know everything about everything. So when I say that spirituality is for everyone, I literally fucking mean everyone. You are like a factual scientist, spirituality is for you. You are a busy mom trying to find balance, spirituality is for you. You are an accomplished CEO, spirituality is for you. We just have to figure out how to translate all this information and what information you actually need in order to have spirituality feel real for you. To feel like you are connected to something, to feel like you are getting the transformations that you desire. Because that's really what spirituality is there for. It's to help us feel connected to something both inside of ourselves but outside of ourselves to have this unwavering for me anyways this unwavering belief that I am connected to something bigger than just me and that's what gets me out of bed in the morning that's what makes me set this camera up and these ring lights and that's what makes me hit publish on things I'm not gonna lie, like there is a part of me that's feeling a little bit insecure right now about the direction of my brand and about where I want it to go and whether or not it's possible for me or not. I journaled this morning and I came to this realization, this like scarcity realization that my mind can't actually wrap around how many people there are in the world. Like it, I can't fathom it. One of my favorite things to do is to go to the planetarium. Obviously I haven't been able to do that during the panini, but one of my favorite things to do is to like sit back in the recliners and go through space and go through the universe and just see how fucking insignificant we are or can be. And when I, what, oh my God, when we zoom out and we start to see how <laughs> fucking vast this, like, space is, it's overwhelming. Like, our brain, our brain can't compute it. Like, where does it end? Like, where, like, what? What happens in space? Where does space have an end? Like, I know, you know, the earth, we thought the earth was flat. But like, just try to picture it like, like space, like it'll give you an existential crisis. It'll give you an existential crisis. But that's the same thing when I try to think of all the people in the world. It's like my brain can't compute it. So it reverts back to what it knows. Okay, well, how many people do I know? And then it just is, doesn't seem feasible. 
which is sad, but it just doesn't seem feasible for me. But even though there's a part of me that feels insecure about hitting publish and what's the point and who's going to see this and doesn't even matter, is it even going to make a difference? I find comfort in my spirituality, in my connectedness to something bigger than me, that there is a point to this. There is a reason I feel compelled to hit that record button. There is a reason I feel compelled to keep going and to create this content and to put myself out there. And that's the gift that spirituality gives for me. And there's going to be people out there that are going to try and tell me that that's not for everybody. That, that there are some people out there who don't deserve that. Who aren't worthy of having that. Absolutely fucking not. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Everybody deserves to feel that way. Everybody deserves to feel whole. Everybody deserves to feel worthy. Everybody deserves to feel connected. And to me, spirituality is like space. It's so vast and it's so big and it's so possible. There's so many possibilities. There's so many definitions of spirituality. And when I see the spiritual community trying to still put people in boxes, I'm just like, what are you trying to accomplish here? It's the same thing as like when I was growing up and people were like, oh, you like this band now? Now that they're famous? Now that I've been their fan since they were like, I don't give a fuck. Maybe I didn't know about them. Maybe I'd never heard of them. Now you're gonna shit on me because I like a band after the fact, like now that I've actually heard about it? Or a book or a movie or whatever, like, ah, gatekeeping makes me so <laughs> fucking, I wanna, Hostling. What, what am I trying to say? What's the English saying? Flip tables. It makes me want to flip tables. And it's the same thing as spirituality. Like, we're going to shame people that they didn't find spirituality sooner so they can't, they can't sit with us? Who made these fucking rules? Who decided that that was okay? So this is why I believe spirituality is for everyone and that there is a way to find spirituality that works for you. It might take some time. You have to build the foundation in like doing a little bit of research, seeing how things connect in a, a language that you understand, which is where the translation part comes from. I'm going to put up a little thing here and it's my simple three-step process to spirituality. So the Cliff Notes version is building a solid foundational understanding, translating that information to how it actually resonates with you, and then experimenting with the information to see what results you get, what feels good, what doesn't. And I actually just want to add a little something onto that as well. My partner is like very science-based. He's a physiotherapist. He's very like analytical, very logical. He indulges me when I talk about like magic and spirituality and these spiritual concepts and whatnot. But I will say that he is starting to become more open to it and more open-minded about it because he started listening to these podcasts that are very science-based, very factual. They talk about psychology and hormones and, you know, different chem chemicals and chemistry and our brain composition and our bodies and all of these things, like very masculine energy. But then he comes home and he's like, you know, they talk a lot about the same shit you talk about, just like different terminology. And I'm like, yes! Because it's the same fucking shit. It's the same thing. Like spirituality is so wide and vast. 
and there is a way to translate it into a way that actually resonates with you. And so that's what I want to show people how to do. That spirituality is for everyone. If healing crystals don't fucking resonate with you, don't force yourself to put random rocks all over your house. Even if, here's the thing. When people are like, oh, do you actually believe in healing crystals? Like, do you actually believe in the power of the moon? Do you actually? And I'm like, that's what faith is, man. And the placebo effect is defined for a reason. Because it fucking exists. So even if these pretty rocks are around my house and they don't actually do anything, the fact that I believe they do is enough. The fact that I believe that when I wear my rose quartz crystal, because I'm feeling a little sensitive, because I'm feeling a little shitty about myself, and I need a little compassion, and I need a little self-love, and I need a little bit of unconditional love for myself. When I see that rose quartz crystal, it acts as a reminder and it gets my brain thinking about those things and it changes the brain composition and my energy and how I feel about myself. Whether the rock itself is actually doing anything, I don't give a fuck. The fact that it acts as a reminder, the fact that I start thinking about being more compassionate to myself, that's the result that I want. So whether or not it's just a symbolic gesture or whether or not there are actual healing frequencies and magic in it, does it matter if it ends up being, if it ends up giving me the result that I'm looking for? I don't think so. So, why do we have these naysayers being like, wah, 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 wah. I don't know. But I do know that I'm on a mission to change the way people look at spirituality. Whether two people watch these videos or whether 200 people watch these videos or whether 200,000 people watch these videos. I need to get back to my mission that if I can create content that makes just one person feel better, that's fulfilling for me. So there we have it. Why I believe spirituality is for everyone and why I think you could feel the same way. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know if you agree with me. Let me know if I changed your mind about something. Let me know if you disagree with me. Let's have a conversation. Let's have a dialogue. Let's connect with one another. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that this is good content and it brings more people into our community by putting it out onto their search pages, etc. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel if this is something that you are interested in. If you are interested in changing the way you look at spirituality, if you are interested in finding a definition of spirituality that resonates with you, hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in spirituality, but you're maybe not really sure how to start that conversation with someone, maybe share this video with them. See if, if maybe I can help you change their mind and how they look at spirituality. As always, I love you so, so, so much and I will see you next week. As well, if you want to receive some more exclusive content or join me in a community, I do have a Patreon community that you can find the link in the description below. There are four different levels. Go peruse them and see if you can find yourself in one of the levels. Oh, I should take before I forget. I don't know if this is relevant or not, but sure. But... Crises? Crises? Where was I going with this? <laughs> wow.